Welcome back to Terminator Genesis Rise of the Resistance. We're doing mission two, and we got to get a long ways from where we are currently. Uh, I think we're going to start, well, he's on a covering space with uh, Kyle Reese, is right here. He's got all kinds of guns, all kinds of abilities for shooting things. I think we're going to try to get him motoring up here. So we're going to roll his dice. He's in yellow, so let's get rolling. And he's got no enemies on the board currently, so we'll roll up for him and see what he gets. Alright, let's roll up his four dice and hope he gets some nice high numbers. And those are not nice high numbers. Um, <laughs> we're going to see what we can do with him though. He does have one rank token we could re-roll, but I think we're going to save it for when we really need it. Alright, let's get to the board and allocate his dice. Oh dear, okay, this really doesn't do too much for him. We're going to use the four for movement, and he's going to go one, two, three, and four, and then we'll use the one for movement, and he'll just hop right onto the cover because he can. That's one of his special abilities. He can just move on to cover, and it doesn't cost him an extra movement to do it. He has two dice left. But he's got no line of sight to any enemies. Uh, and we're not quite into this zone yet for triggering it. So I think we're just going to leave him off there. Uh, which means he's not going to be using his other two dice. Which is kind of silly, but I don't know what else he can do. So I think we're just going to let the others catch up. But right now, if that's the end of his turn, uh, then it is time for him to... Uh, have some reinforcements coming out on the board. So let's get rolling a couple of dice. We have spawn points at 1, 2, and 3, but nothing at 4, 5, 6. All right, let's find out if anything spawns for him and a pair of 1s. Well, that's not horrible, and he's actually two T-800s are coming out for him. Uh, let's get putting them on the board. Wow, that number one spawn point is just spitting out the enemies. Uh, that's over there. And they're both going to move four. So one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And of course, they have zero line of sight to anybody. All right, that was very quickly Kyle's turn. So who do we want to have going next? I think... We're going to have our friendly Terminator go next. So we're going to roll up his dice and see what he gets. All right, we're going to roll up our Terminator's dice and... Ooh, looking pretty sweet. A couple sixes, a five, and a two. And his, one of his special abilities now through his uh, Assault class is he gets to move one extra space for every movement die. Let's get to the board and have him doing stuff. All right, we're going to have him use a six for movement. Uh, yes, we're going to have him use, so he can move seven because that's, uh, it says here, whenever you use a move action space, you may move one additional hex, even if you are down. So he's going to move seven. He's going to go one, two, no, you can't go through that. Can you go through that one? No, it's a wall. So he's going to have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then I, ooh, does he want to move one, two, three, four? I wonder if he can see from this space to that hunter killer. Oh, you know what? You can. It doesn't go through the line. All right, he's going to use a five for movement, which means he can move six. He's going to go one, two, three, uh, what am I doing? One, two, three, four. So he's going to stop there. He's on a one cover space. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? As soon as he goes one to here, he's got uh, six movements. So he's got five movement left. So I'm going to put the little white die in here. I forgot. The second you move into a zone with a waypoint, you flip the waypoint. And this is waypoint bravo. All right. We're going to have to get out the book and figure out what waypoint bravo is all about. Oh dear, this does not look good. <clears throat> we were staying ahead of the machines for now. Even so, we had to keep moving. If we stopped for too long, they'd overwhelm us. We had paused for a few precious moments at an intersection. The dim wall lights flickered on and off. When a loud echoing boom from behind us made heads turn. They've blown the entrance, John said. We're sealed in. No sooner had I pointed my rifle that way than plasma fire pierced the hallway from not one but two locations. The damn endos were trying to catch us in a crossfire. 
So we're going to be moving some spawn points around. It says move the enemy entrances to new locations. Uh, Charlie moves to one, Bravo moves to two. Take enemy entrance Foxtrot and add it to the map at three, light side up. Oh wow. Okay, I'm going to show you where all of the things are happening. And that is not good. Alright, the first uh, point that's moving, this is Charlie. Charlie moves to one. I'm not going to show you the map because I don't want to spoil anything from the book. But this spawn point is actually going to move over here. That's the first change. And then we have to have the next one. Charlie um, moves to one. That's what we just did. And now we are going to have uh, Bravo moves to location two on the map in the book. So let's do that next. Alright, so Spawn Point Bravo way over here is going to move uh, itself here. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, things are really switching around. So that's the next movement. And the final one, we're going to be adding another Spawn Point onto the board. We're going to be adding Foxtrot to a location 3 on the board. I'll show you that here in a second. Alright, and Foxtrot, which is this one here, which is a 6, is moving up here. So as you can see, we do now have 4 spawn points on the board. We're going to spawn at a 1, 2, 3, and 6, and the locations have changed. Alright, our Terminator still has 5 movement remaining though, so let's go ahead and give him his 5 movement. Um, he's going to go 1, 2. You know what, he's just going to go 1, 2 onto there and stop. It's going to stop right there, and he's going to shoot at this hunter kill. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we don't touch the wall. No, we can we can see. So he has a 6 and a 2 left. He's going to put the 6 on his plasma rifle. Uh, if we want to take a quick look at his plasma rifle, we're going to put the 6 on here. You may re-roll one result. Rolling 3 dice has a range of 8. Not a problem. Can't quite use a shotgun. Because it's only one, two, three, four, and it's five away. All right, let's get to the dice tray. We're attacking the hunter killer with a uh, plasma rifle. All right, we're rolling three dice. We're attacking the hunter killer, and we get to re-roll one of them. And oh my god! Okay, that was well. Re-rolling one is really not going to do anything. So we got one hit, but it dodges one because of the terminator symbols. Oh wow, that was horrible. So. Uh, we absolutely fail to shoot that hunter killer. Okay, that was an absolute miss. Uh, and we're sitting on a one cover. And you know what? I think we're just going to stay there. We have a two left. And there's really nothing else we can do with a two. So uh, we're not damaged. We don't need rest. We're just going to give it up. And that's going to be the end of our actions for our own Guardian Terminator. All right, we're going to get to the dice tray and we're going to roll up the reinforcements. And then, yeah, we do have one enemy on the board. So let's get rolling up reinforcements for our Terminator. All right, it's reinforcement time. And one and a four. We don't have a four, so we don't have to worry about that. But that spawn point, one again. And for him, it's going to be a hunter killer. Let's get that on the board, get it moving. All right, spawn point one is very busy. Have I not rolled a one yet spawning? So it's spawn here and it's, got, it's going to move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It is too far away from our Terminator to shoot at it. This one gets to move eight. One, two, three. It moves right here. It's close enough to shoot at our Guardian Terminator. So let's get to the dice tray. We're going to have one attack against our Guardian. Uh, so let's do it. All right, our drones attack with two dice. Our guardian, if he rolls a fist symbol, gets to negate one of these. So I don't know. Let's see what we get. Uh, we get uh, nothing. So the hunter killer misses completely. Well, it, our terminator missed it completely, and it flew up and missed our terminator completely. All right, uh, it is time now for our last player, Alex, to have a go. All right, Alex is way down here. I kind of want him to get next to that. Uh, he's got a T-800 on the board, though, which is going to be able to shoot at our Guardian Terminator. I don't know if we can get all the way over there. Let's just roll his dice and see what he can do. He does have an EMP grenade, though, so it's possible if he can move far enough, he might be able to toss it in there and disable all those, but we'll see. All right, let's get to the dice tray, roll up his dice. 
All right, let's see what he gets for his dice roll. And a couple of sixes, a three and a two. Ooh, I, I like that. So let's get to the dice tr or the dice. Let's get to the board and allocate his dice. All right, the first thing Alex is going to do is allocate a six to, or I flipped it over, a six to his movement. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six to here. Then he will allocate a three. Hang on, does he want to do that? A three? Uh, yes, he's going to allocate a three to movement. So he gets to go one, two, three. And then he's going to allocate the six to his plasma assault rifle. A five or six, he can reroll a result. It's three dice. It has a range of six. So one, two, three, four, no problem. Total clear line of sight. You can. You have line of sight through figures and through rough terrain. You just only thing you don't have line of sight through is um, the red bordered walls. All right, six on there. So he's rolling three dice, gets to re-roll one, attacking the red hunter killer. Let's get to the board or dice tray and roll it up. All right, we're attacking the red hunter killer, and he gets two hits and he gets to re-roll one. Come on, let's not. Get Terminator symbol. All right, and he gets two, two, three, four hits against a two defense hunter killer drone. It's destroyed. Excellent. All right, he destroys the hunter killer, so that's at least something. <laughs> Finally, somebody took it down. Uh, he has a two left, and he's going to put that on his, his special ability. Let's take a look at it. All right, so he has a special ability here. It says uh, this die must match an enemy entrance. So. Two does. Uh, any character can discard this die to use its value instead of the reinforcement roll result. So, what it means is when we spawn or roll for uh, reinforcements right now, if we get something we don't like, which could be a one again, or a six actually, we can replace it with uh, the reinforcement uh, point two. All right, let's get to the dice tray and roll up the reinforcements for Alex. All right, reinforcement time for Alex, and we get a two and a three. Uh, we could replace the three with, you know what, I think we're going to. We're going to replace the three and we're going to make it a two. We can do that. So we're going to have uh, two enemies coming out at two. That's actually better than one coming out at three, because the one at three is going to come out right behind us. We don't want that. Because they're both hunter killers, so we're going to get two hunter killers coming out at both at uh, reinforcement point two because of Alex's special ability. All right, let's get them on the board, get them moving. Okay, that's actually not too terrible. They both come out here, which is way down, uh, and they're gonna be moving eight spaces. So they have to go all the way around to try to get to anybody, uh, and they're not going to be able to, I don't think. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, way, way far away. Not a big deal. But we do have one T-800 on the board, and I don't think it has... Does it have line of sight? No, I think it clips the wall. One, two, three, four, five, six. It has a range of six and a movement of four. It's going to move right here, I think. It's going to go one, two, three, four to get a range of six against our friendly Terminator. And yep, it has a clear line of sight. So it is going to attack our Guardian Terminator with three dice. Let's get to the dice tray and have that one T-800 attacking our Guardian Terminator. All right, at least our Guardian Terminator has his special ability for defense. Let's see what we get. We get, okay, well, there's not much we could do about it. Our Guardian Terminator will take a hit. So let's go ahead and allocate that one hit, or sorry, one wound. Uh, to our Guardian Terminator. All right, that's our first wound for our players, but that's okay. Our Guardian Terminator's got actually one, two, three, four health. He's got a bonus one, and he has double rest action. Oh, hang on, what am I doing? Uh, he's on cover. Never mind, the, he doesn't take a wound. The cover gets blown up. I forgot that. Let's do that. That's what happens first. You do the damage to the cover, and then you do damage to your characters. So what happens here is the T-800 shoots at our Guardian Terminator. He's standing on a one cover. He took one damage, but the cover takes damage first. It's blown apart, and he doesn't take any damage. It's all good. 
All right, we're going to zoom out and we're going to wrap up our episode for today. All right, so things got a little wonky with uh, new spawn points showing a new spawn point showing up up here. This one getting switched around. The things uh, moving all over the place. Wow, we have a mass of uh, enemies there. I don't know. I guess we're going to have to try to just wipe them out. We we'll get Kyle Reese motoring in there and see what he can do. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Terminator Genesis: Rise of Resistance. We're playing Mission Two. And yes, we need to get all the way up to that point right there and hang around there for once all three of us get into that zone and we have to survive there for another entire round to win the scenario. All right. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for the continuation.